press the plus button near the brush you wish to customize. The newly added brush should appear at the bottom. Then you click the arrow on the right to go to the editing section. I am now going to increase the spacing and the pattern opacity just a tad in the brush. I will also increase the initial angle in order to make it so that it is shaped more like grass. The aspect is also a very important part, so I lowered that to, well, I guess you could say pretty much nothing. I also need to thicken it a little bit, so, all right. Now we're gonna go to Jitter. I just discovered this today, but this has really helped me. The Jitter will help it spread more. The Jitter angle will help rotate the grass and make it more like grass because, well, when you are drawing grass, it should not look the equivalent to Bart Simpson's hairstyle. It should look like bent and natural grass. You can play around with the settings here and make the brush to your liking. But this is how I decided to keep it for now. Actually, wait, cut that out. I said cut that out. We have now completed the experiment. Let's test it. Okay, it seems decent, but uh, I'm gonna need some more practice. Once someone becomes an expert at drawing grass, they can tell all the people that told them to touch some grass to go fuck themselves. Because now they have become an expert. But uh, that's gonna take me a while.